Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? This your boy Black Emoji here coming at y'all with another video. But this time I'm going to be talking about the new wrestling company that literally just aired on TV yesterday night, which was aka AEW on channel TNT. Now, I literally said from before when they was doing this, I was going to make my thoughts and opinions on it and talk about matches and everything like that that happened, man. Uh, so much went down, so much I need to discuss, so much I need to go over, but we're going to try to get as much in this video as we possibly can. But all I got to say is, man, they did not disappoint. They delivered. Was there some flaws that they need to work on? Was there any flaws in this? Yes, but that's besides the point. It is the thought the mindset and just to get you to wake up every morning on Wednesday excited as shit and just to feel like a wrestling fan again is all that counts man but we're gonna get to the reviews we're gonna get to the matches what happened and stuff we're gonna try and make this quick as possible but yeah man my uh the first match that started on the AEW Dynamite was the Cody Versus Sammy Guevara. I hope I'm saying his name right, man. But yes, that match was all right. I'm not going to say it was bad, but I'm not going to say it was good either. It was, you know, it was all right. I'll say it was, it was like a 50-50. Uh, but, you know, all overall, Cody and Sammy Gra uh, Guevara did that thing in that match, man. I enjoyed watching it. You know, a little bit of twist and turns here and there. And then the fact that Chris Jericho came... Attack code and everything just to get that heel look on it was was uh pretty dope and uh, I think the next match after that I think was MJF versus Cutler uh, I don't know if it's Coulter Coulter I don't know how to say his name right man I'm trying to still say his name right but it's MJF versus Cutler Cutler Coulter um they fought one on one. That was literally like a, um, there was a lot of flaws there, man, but uh, overall, it was a great match, and, and especially when Cutler, you know, tripped over the top rope, I don't even think he mean to do that, but it's alright, man, people make mistakes, you know what I mean, I still enjoyed the match, they were having fun in there, they were doing their thing, especially MJF, he looked like a fucking badass heel, you know, I could, I could sit him as one of the best heels in wrestling, uh, history right now, uh, but, but moving forward, we got Ryo versus Nyla Rose for the AEW Women's Champion. The first ever, to crown the first ever Women's Champion on AEW. Now, this match right here, man, was very, very, very great. I enjoyed it, man. Uh, Ryo put on that work. She showed that she can kick ass for, you know, a slim chick, man. Especially fighting somebody like Nyla Rose. I'm pretty sure that wasn't easy. Uh, they, I became fans of both of them at the end of the day. Nyla Rose and Ryo did their thing, man. They performed. They proved that the women's division is not to be taken lightly. All right. So that is that. That's what's up, man. I enjoyed that match very, very much. And I'm glad that Ryo was shining with the AEW champ. Uh, moving forward, we got Adam Hangman Page versus Pac. And a 1v1 singles match. I enjoyed that match very, very much, man. I love that match. Uh, Adam Hangman Page and Pac proved that they could have a great chemistry together. Enjoyed that match very, very much, man. Uh, but the ending was uh, pretty uh, pretty crazy. I did not expect that. I did not expect Pac to do his move behind uh, Adam Hangman Page like that and just seal the deal. And then end it with a submission. That looked deadly, and I enjoyed it. Um... Moving forward, man, we have, there was a counter with the SCU and Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. I thought that, that uh, crossover right there between those two is pretty funny. You know what I mean? Especially that whole president of the United States shit by SCU. I, 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 think, I thought all of that was pretty, it was pretty legit, man. I enjoyed every single one of that. And now apparently... They're talking about there's going to be a World Tag Team Champion Tournament. And I will name all the tag teams that are going to be in this tournament. That should be exciting to watch, man. We got Young Bucks, Private Party, Lucha Bros, Jurassic Express, Best Friends, SCU, and Dark Order. Now, I'm looking at these tag teams and lists, man, and they look pretty promising, man. I'm not going to lie. 
Can't wait for this tag team tournament by AEW. It should be pretty interesting to watch and to see how their chemistry works as they're fighting in the ring. Um, now, let's hope I'm not missing anything, man. I'm trying to look this up. Uh, oh, yes. The main event. We got Young Bucks and Kenny Omega versus Y2J, Chris Jericho, and uh, Sand. Tana and Ortez, Ortiz, I, I don't know how to say his name yet, man, but uh, bear with me. I'll get it right eventually. Uh, now, this match right here, man, it, it started off really great. And, it, you know, I'm not going to say it lasted a while at the beginning with Kenny Omega, with the Bucks. Because, you know, as they were fighting and everything with uh, Santana and Ortez, which I will say, man, those two can go. Santana and Artez Ortiz, they, those two can go. They prove that they're not to be taken lightly. Now, this tag team match was, was brilliant. I loved it, man, at the main event. Now, what really caught my eye was when John Moxley showed up and was beating up on Kenny Omega. Now, he wasn't really beating him up. They were going back and forth, blow for blow, as the match took place, but... What I fucking was like, as they were going back and forth, going towards the, you know, the back, what got me jumping out of my seat was when John Moxley picked up Kenny Omega and slammed him to the glass table. I was done after that. I was like, see, this is what I, this is what the type of shit I grew up on when I was a kid. I felt like a, 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 a kid again, watching wrestling, wrestling was cool, you know? I actually felt like a fucking kid again. But moving forward, man. Uh, after the match went take place, man, it was a whole bunch of shit that went down, man. Uh, as the tag team match was going on, you had Jack Yeager from WWE, aka Jack Swagger, appear. You had Sammy Guevara appear. You had Cody Rhodes appear. You had, you had uh, Dustin Rhodes. Uh, yeah, Dustin Rhodes appear. You had all these people just lined up, just fighting each other, going back and forth. But of course. Sammy Guevara, uh, Chris Jericho, and all of them stood tall, man. They let it known that the heels and nothing to be reckoned with, and I enjoyed it. Uh, Chris Jericho hitting the Judas Effect on one of the Young Bucks, uh, starting at the end, man. And then, the, you know, it, it was just a lot that went on at the end, man. But I will say, AEW, All Elite Wrestling, they proved... That they could like really good, they could really go, man. They really proved it, and I enjoyed myself very much, man. I didn't once take the remote and flick it back to NXT, or you know, I, I, I enjoyed myself. I was like, you know what, let me give AEW a chance. This is their night to shine, this is their time to shine. Let me give them a chance today. I can always watch NXT and highlights, and I'm not gonna sit here. And boycott which one was better, what did what da, 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 da. no. I'm just gonna say AW, they did the thing, man. They're they're like they're their own unique vibe. I like it, man. Um But yeah, I think I think that's all I'm gonna say, man. Uh I just wanted to give my thoughts and, and say what I had to say about the show last night. I enjoyed myself very much and I can't wait for next week Wednesday so I can tune in for more to find out what's gonna go on with that. This just made me a whole fan of a bunch of wrestlers in this show and just the show in general, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the show last time, man. What was y'all thoughts on this? But I'm going to end this video because it's getting too long, y'all. But yeah, it's your boy Black Emoji signing out. Peace.